Harry. Oh, what's up, Coach Chris? What you hey, doing, man? So my uncle has this bag of rackets in here, um, but he told me not to uh, let you open them until you're on the court. Maybe you can check it out and see what's inside. You got a surprise bag for me? Yep. Don't open it now? Don't open it now. Am I going to like it? We'll see. Okay. Interesting. All right, guys. So on the court, called out my man, Coach Rob. We're going to open up this bag as I haven't actually looked and peeked to see what's in there yet. Coach Rob, since we have a Babolat bag, I'm guessing we might have Babolat rackets. There's a quite that possibility, yeah. Right, you, would, you think. would think. That would be the obvious assumption. But we also know a lot of people buy the bag, they like the colors, and it has nothing to do with the rackets that they actually play with. This is true. Not everybody's, not everybody's brand loyal like Coach Rob here, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the one side first. Okay, well, I'm we're not Wilson. brand loyal. loyal. Hey, we got Wilson though. We got a Wilson, here we go. Graphite, is that aggressor or assessor? It's aggressor. <laughs> it's <the> aggressor. 8.5 <laughs> on the stiffness index. Oh, let's show the boys. Let's show the guys out there. Aggressor, not assessor. I'm thinking, I got tax in the head right now. Cause that's, right. don't forget to do your taxes. You got maybe less than two months, okay? Your assessor. All right. Oh, look at this, Yamaha. I never heard of this thing. Have you heard of this thing? I have not. Huh. I it's, wonder if that's what's in there. It's called a, what the hell is that? <laughs> Acuris? Acuris? Sure. Acuris? Sounds good to me. Okay, I like the ace part of it. Wow, look at that thing. Acur, Ac Acuris, whatever. 100, the difference you can feel. Man, I loved the Yamaha rackets back in the day. They were made in uh, Singapore. Do you remember that? I didn't know they were made there. Yeah. Or I don't remember. Yeah, they were. From back in the 80s. Yeah, I love the, uh, remember that symbol? That I do. The, you said you played with Yamaha back in I the did. day. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the red, Sab white, and green-ish looking one. Sabatini Special. Yeah. The Secret EX. Yep. I'm going to let you. 86. I think 86 is the year I played with that. Oh, something like that. Really? Or no. Wow. 96. 9, 96. 96. Look, it can't be. Yeah, no, that's an 86 racket right yes. there. 96. <laughs> yeah, so that's you get older. That racket was that racket was 86 by 96. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we got two more on the other side. More Yamahas. We got Focus. Look. We got a Gresser. We got a Acuris. Acarace and Focus Ooh. 20? Is that what I think it's 2.0. 2.0. Or is it? No, Focus 20. Focus 20. I guess we have two of these. Hey, oh, look. what? What the heck? <laughs> the dude never used it. Look, it's got a price tag on it. Wow, remember these old school price tags? $85. And it's got the plastic on it, too. And the plastic, <laughs> man. Okay. You get newer than that. No. Wow. So, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter? Mm, couldn't tell you. Oh, right there. Oh. Four and three, three eighths. eighths. Okay. So, $85, four and a quarter. You know what, what's going to you know happen when I take this off? This grip is going to crumble in my Coming hand. Coming off with it. Yeah. So, I'm going to play with it on <laughs> just so I don't get, like, grip hand or chalk hand. And i got to clean up the cord after this crumbles on the court. So... I'm going to take the chance and just play with the plastic on. Just got off the court. Um, 
So let's start with this Focus Focus 20 with the price tag still on it. As you saw, I still played with the price tag on it and plastic on it. And it slipped out of my hand at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, it the racket itself uh, felt like a Secret 10, if you guys know what that is. Yamaha Secret 10. Coach Rob might. Is that, was it black? Yeah. Yeah. Black okay. and shiny, kind of like this. Yeah. Right. And it was... It looked just like this, except that it was just black and shiny. Right. That's what this racket reminded me of. What did you think of that? Um, I, you know, for a racket that was as old as it is, felt pretty good. Besides the chalky grip in my hand, because the grip was coming off. But right. Yeah, no, it felt pretty good for for uh, for the Yamaha Focus <laughs> Twenty. So, so Coach Rob had the chalky grip that was coming off and I wanted to avoid that by leaving the plastic on. So either way we, we got slippery grips. Right. But the racket felt good. So yeah, yeah we after man, how many I'm just thinking. Thirty years. Thirty years. It's thirty years. Thirty wow. years old. Still good guys. Focus twenty. I still love these. Um uh, even though I didn't know them from back then. It'd be interesting to see what it felt like with fresh string. Yeah. But in bad strings but, too, I was like pretty yeah. shocked. Pretty shocked. All right, so let's move on to the other Yamaha. Um, can you can you pronounce that? Maybe you're the English teacher. I don't think between so. Between us, uh, Acuras, Acuras, Acura, Acura. Look at that. See, you guys pronounce it. <clears throat> yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, what'd you think of that? Um, I I was. Uh, it, it felt like a racket. It wasn't anything special. <laughs> nothing, you know. Nothing Spectrum great. Spectrum comp, baby. That's what that was. You think so? The, the old Prince Spectrum? Kind of Spectrum okay. comp -ish Yeah, that's not. That's me. a good call. Yeah. That's a good call. Like pretty soft. Right. Pretty soft racket. Right. Thin body, soft racket. A lot of flex. That's what that was. I, I like these more, for right. sure. This is uh, this is pre-wide body, um, pre-power, pre-everything. A lot of flex is what this thing has. But uh, 100, you pronounce it. Okay, by Yamaha, the company I miss a lot. The company I miss a lot. All right, I'll bet you that's your favorite right there. This was, this was definitely <laughs> kind of a well, you know, a little bit of a wide body, the eight five on the stiffness, but the ball jumped off the racket. I, I didn't swing very hard, and it just all of a sudden I was hitting a few long at you, and I was like, uh oh, better get yeah. a little more topspin on. Definitely it. more wider. I'm gonna hold. Let hold. I'm gonna have you hold those two. And I'm going to show you how wide it got. See the difference? So the difference in these two is probably about 14 years too. So we're talking 86. We're talking about maybe 96 to 98 here. So the uh, usually the 8.5 on the scale, on the stiffness scale, stiffness index is what SI stood for. If you guys didn't know, the higher the number the more flexible it is. Yep. But this is pretty stiff. Right. That's, <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, I if you're just going to whack the ball around, that's easy racket. Yep. It's just easy power. Everything was just easy about it. Right. So, I mean, back then this racket was probably, I want to say, 70 to $99 back in the day. It right. wasn't a mainstream racket. It was like a big five special or a... Um, what are those Oshman stores? Right, all those stores that don't the, yeah, aren't stores around anymore. Did, didn't survive. Herman's, Herman's Herman. special. Um, but yeah, good racket. Um, I definitely would sell that today for seventy to ninety dollars all day long. It's an easy racket to play with. Definitely. So that would be your choice. That would be mine. Yeah, it'd be mine too. It's just for easiness. But those focuses are great. Uh, definitely not the old school Goodwill racket. Okay. All right. I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today. And, of course, choosing the, the, his Wilson, his brand of choice. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.